Hi, this is the quick introduction to FIN 539 Investment Analysis for Fall 2016. Now, this is the Blackboard course here, and the first area I'm going over is announcements. So in announcements, you'll see that the first announcement I posted was information about getting started, which is this video. So you click this link and you get to this video where I explain the basics of the course, as well as information about the textbook. Now, the textbook can be purchased at the, of course, at the bookstore on campus. Uh, it can also be purchased as an online ebook. So if you click this link I attached here, it'll go to this site, and they have various options anywhere from $53 to $71 uh, for buying in just the ebook edition if you're interested in that. Just want to let you know that the option is available. Also, information on a stock trading game. So we'll have a uh, a free stock trading simulation game that we'll be playing. These are the instructions to sign up. Password for our game is 539 Fall 16. That is also the name of the game. This is the link you want to click on this link, the URL for the game, and sign up following the instructions. Once you sign up and register for the course, you may want to watch these two YouTube videos, which are. Um, an introduction and just a brief overview of how to use the mechanics of the simulation. Don't get confused. Those videos may have, uh, are about different games you're, that you're not a part of. It's just a demo to show you how the simulation works because our game is unique to the two to different games we're talking about in these videos. So don't let that confuse you. Just sign up to our game first and if you want, if you're confused as to how the mechanics of the simulation work, you can watch those two YouTube videos to help. Um, also, I'm going to have uh, a quick, also posted in announcements will be an overview of week one, uh, and as the class progresses, more announcements will be posted. I'll also simultaneously email you at your stonybrook.edu email address and the announcements that I post. So it will be posted on the announcements and simultaneously emailed, so make sure you check your uh, Stonybrook email address on a regular basis or at least have it forwarded to an email address you do check. Now let's move on to documents, the next area. So in documents I have the PowerPoints backed up here. So all the PowerPoints for the chapters we're covering. I have the stock analyst instructions and examples. So in here there is different, uh, this, is a, this is a class project, stock analysis. So I did provide a number of different um, support documents that you'll be utilizing during the semester, later on in the semester. Homework solutions, these are, right now none appear, they do appear after the homework is completed. You'll see a homework solution so you can go back in and check your answers compared to the solution. And uh, various class handouts they may talk about on some of the YouTube videos for the course. Okay, let's go to the syllabus. Now in the syllabus, it describes the class as an online class. It's an asynchronous, mean, meaning that you can participate at the times you are best for you during the day, during the week. Uh, so this course is going to focus on investment analysis, uh, the textbook, where you, this information where you can buy the textbook, the learning objectives for the course, which are really to help you to make investment, investment decisions that are the most optimal for return, risk and reward, uh, the course expectations, the mythology of the course, our learning goals for the course, this is all stuff you can read over, the, um, how I'm going to achieve these learning objectives, your responsibilities as a student, the grading for the course, we have two tests, we have uh, midterm and a final, we have discussion board questions, stock trading simulation homework, and a stock, anal stock industry analysis report. So those are the elements, gradable elements of the course, and there'll be no makeups for any of these assignments or exams unless you have a documented legal or medical emergency. Uh, no late assignments will be accepted. Okay, uh, this is how, these are all points. I don't work on percentages or weighted averages, I just work on points. You accumulate these points and then you can trade them in for a grade. Here is our class schedule. So our, oh, sorry about that, just had to go back and update the, the tests. So in the class schedule, test one is starts on October 7th, and I give you until the 9th to complete. And for the final exam, we'll start on December 7th, and you'll have to the 10th to complete. 
So this, this schedule lists the weeks that we'll be working on the class. Uh, we have 14 weeks plus a final exam, which gives us about 15 weeks of the course. We have a YouTube playlist for the class, and I gave you a, actually this is my YouTube channel, you should subscribe to, and the playlist that you should use for all of the videos for the course, and some additional information at the end of the syllabus about Blackboard, plagiarism, academ academ academic dishonesty, and disability support. Okay, so that is the syllabus. This is not, um, this video is not meant to completely cover the syllabus. I'm just giving you the highlights of the syllabus. You need to go, you're responsible to go and read the syllabus uh, completely. Okay, so those are the documents for the course. We have the assignments for the course. So you go into the assignments and there's an assignment on chapter one and chapter two that's due on September 11th at 1130. So I give you the uh, page number the assignment is on page 19, complete spreadsheet exercise 1-1, parts A and B. And then on page 49, chapter 2, complete spreadsheet 2-1, 2-2, and 2-3. And let me show you how to uh, submit this assignment. So first thing you need to do is let's open up Excel. Okay, so in Excel, you're going to um, complete this assignment. So you you would use Excel to do your work. Oops, let's back up. Try to make this workbook. Nope. There we go. Just want to shrink this workbook a little bit. Okay. All right, so. What we would do here is as you, as you complete each of the problems, uh, remember that a problem, you know, exercise 1, 1, 2, 1, 2, 2, 2, 3. So what I want you to do for the spreadsheet is on, for each sheet, quick uh, label your problems, 1, 1. Uh, and then we'd have create a new sheet to make that 2-1. Two dash, two dash create a new worksheet. 2-2, and another worksheet, 2-3. So you have one Excel file you're submitting. So each of these tabs would be um, the problem clearly marked. Let's see part A here. And then we go and you put in, read the problem and put in the answer for 2.2, for 2-1, rather. Um, that way we have one workbook with all these nice and neat uh, little little um, worksheets, one worksheet to cover each problem. Then you save your workbook, click on the link here to open up the homework assignment. This is taking a second to open up. And then once the homework assignment opens up, you'll be able to attach your file and submit it for grading. And you'll see that some of the homework links, I will provide a hint file which means that I will give you a spreadsheet as a starting point to help get you started. Okay, so when the, the link is opened up, you want to click on Browse My Computer, and this is what this is will bring up the files in your computer, which you can attach your spreadsheet file, and then just hit Submit to me. Uh, make sure your spreadsheet has, includes your name on it. It's a very simple procedure for uh, completing the homework, and you're going to complete all your homework in Excel and attach your files um, one at a time as you get to each homework. So each chapter will have a homework that's tied to problems in the book. And some, sometimes the, uh, I will provide uh, extra hint files if I need to. Now as you go down, you will see that the industry assignment, uh, as we get closer throughout the se semester, I'll be sprinkling in portions of the industry assignment that we'll be doing over the course of the semester. The first assignment would be to pick an industry or sector for your research reports. And here you'd list 10 or more companies for your industry. And I also cr created an MP4 file here for instructions on how to do this. Okay. And then soon in October, by October 7th rolls around, exam one will open up. Right now it will be invisible to you because it's hidden. But on at 1 a.m. October 7th, the exam will open up. It will close at 11.30 p.m. on October 9th. And this exam will cover chapters 1 through 5. And we continue with some more homework to chapter 10. Then there'll be an assignment on creating an Excel database for your stock analysis. 
chapters 14, 15, and then the first draft, your industry analysis paper, chapter 16, then you then submitting your stock industry report, which is due on December 4th, and I attach example files of what you need to put together, and I give you an instruction video of how to complete this paper, and give you plenty of uh, support, and then the final uh, exam, which will open up on December 7th, it's due by December 10th, and covers chapters 6, 10, 13, 14, 15, 16, and you have two hours to complete once you've opened the exam. Okay, so that's all our assignments. They're listed in chronological order, so you just kind of get, you get to them uh, in order, and just make sure you have them completed before the due date. Okay. Now, another element of this online class would be the discussion board. So in the discussion board, there are um, weekly uh, discussions. Sometimes the discussions will stretch over two weeks where you click on, here it says discussion question one, click here. And the questions, question is, what are your expectations for this course? What are you hoping to learn? So you click on the discussion link, and then you click on create thread. So you should put your student name. And maybe you can put discussion question one. And then you can say, I have no expectations for the course. You put in your response. Should, uh, now your response should be you know, 200 to 300 words. This is just an example for the, the video and how to, how to get started with this. So I do make, I want you to post one original, this would be an original, and three replies to this discussion. So we're gonna start on August 24th, it's gonna end on September 6th. 11, at 11 p.m. So you need to post a 200 300 word response to my question and then reply to three other students responses should be 50 to 200 words long and your original posts and replies should be within this your original posts should be between August 24th and 28th and you make your replies between August 29th and September 6th. So I give you sort of the uh, part of the first week to make your original post and the rest of the time to, to post your replies uh, and you will be, uh, points will be taken off if you don't make your original post within this time frame. Okay, and then you just hit submit, and now you have your, your thread. So any student can click on this thread, read it, and, and reply. So this is, this would, if you, were, you don't want to reply to your own thread, of course, but you reply to other students' threads. So I could hit, hit reply, and I'd say, um, John, this, this, Post is too short. We add at least 200 words. So, and I hit submit. So I'm replying to this post as me, and um, this is just an example. Okay. And also for the posts, when you read a post, you should also rate uh, from zero to five stars how you feel about the post. You can't rate your own posts up. So that would be important. All right, so that's discussion boards. So just keep an eye on these as time goes by. New discussion boards will be posted, and it's meant to keep us connected to the course and, and topical material. And there's also uh, class questions. So if you have questions about this class that you think the whole class could benefit from, you can post your questions here, uh, create a new thread, and post any questions you want there. Okay, so that is the discussion board. Pretty simple. And that's the basic gist of the course. So the course is very neatly organized for you to follow on a chronological basis. And it, every week you will be, think of this as a weekly basis, you'll be contributing to discussion boards, reading chapters, completing homework, um, and watching videos that I post based on each of the chapters. So if you go to the YouTube area, You'll see that um, I have a YouTube channel. You want to subscribe to that. And, and under playlists, you want to find the FIN 539 investment playlist. And in this playlist, you want to also subscribe to this playlist so you get the, um, all the videos that I have attached. There are 22 videos that I have attached to this course 
that are related to our material. And this is really the heart of the course. So if you don't watch these videos, you're not going to learn much about this class. These videos are where I make the subject come to life with my own experiences and my own information that tie into the material in the textbook. So in addition to reading the textbook, you must also watch these, these lectures, which are very, uh, make sort of the subjects come to life and help reinforce the material. Okay, so that is it for my quick uh, introduction to the course. If there's any questions you have about the course at this point, you can post them in the discussion boards under uh, class questions. If there are any questions of a more personal nature you don't want to share with the entire class, please feel free to email me. Thank you and take care.